This is the Chiang Mai Thailand MMA Shredded MMA Retreat 2022. What's up guys, it's Jeff Chan from MMA Shredded and in this video I'll be sharing with you guys some of the differences that you'll experience training back at home versus training at an MMA retreat here in Thailand with me and why you'd much rather be here. So unlike training back at home where most of us need to drive in traffic to get to the gym or even taking the subway, gyms here in Thailand usually there's a combination right across the street if not a few minutes walk away so you know we can literally just get out of bed and walk to the gym. It's super convenient. <laughs> this gives us plenty of time to show up early, stretch, and loosen up before training. This is something none of us do enough in our regular routine back at home. There are always guys wrapping their hands when class is just starting and they should be skipping. It's extremely hot here. We actually picked a really good season so the weather hasn't been too bad, but you will have to adapt to the heat. You're gonna be challenged physically and mentally. And as you can see, the training here is usually outdoors. So there's sunlight, you're training outside, and it's just a different environment training here in Thailand. You guys will be training two hours of striking in the morning and two hours of grappling in the evening, getting in the best shape of your life and learning from your favorite YouTuber, wink wink. the first morning session, you'll go through a structured curriculum where you will learn my whole system of striking. Then after that, we will smash some pads. Three, kick, 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 One more time, nice and slow. One, two, three, kick, hook, cross, hook, hook, kick, cross, and one, two, three, guys. Finally, we will finish off with everyone's favorite thing to do, which is sparring. Then in the evening, we work on the most important grappling techniques for MMA. And if everyone has energy after the session, we go for some shoot boxing or MMA sparring. Now, because you will be on vacation, you won't have to worry about work, taking care of your kids, doing chores or whatever you have going on in your life. It will be stress-free. In between or after sessions, you'll have enough time to rest and recover, get a massage for 200 baht, which is only five US dollars. And if you didn't know, a massage back home is about 100 USD. On other days, you can go see the elephants or tigers, check out the night markets and buy some souvenirs, watch some fights, or what I like to do is getting my lifts in for the week. <laughs> today's, uh, today's bodybuilding day. Hey, uh, Everyone's gotta do a set now. You look like a fighter. Like trying to get as strong as you, bro. That's <laughs> And food is one of the best parts about life and food is a huge incentive for coming to Thailand. We can get really, really delicious variety of food here in Thailand and very, very affordable price. Uh, Kevin here calls it free food. It's free, it's basically free. <laughs> now, if you want to get your first professional Muay Thai fight off your bucket list, Thailand is a great way to do it. Thailand has fights pretty much every day of the week, so it's really easy. We got Peter here and Matt Fighting this Friday, which is tomorrow. You guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 So we had no idea who their opponents were all the way up until fight time. We didn't know how tall, what stance or experience level. In fact, till this day we still don't know their opponents experience. There were no weigh-ins either. We were also led to believe that it would be 3 times 2 minute rounds and it ended up being 5 times 3 minute rounds. Yep, that's Thailand for ya. Matt ended up fighting all 5 rounds and winning by decision. Overhead, 
Peter was outpointing his opponent right from the start. Then his opponent panicked and went for the kill. During the crazy exchanges, Peter either punched so hard and dislocated his arm or dislocated his arm when he fell, or maybe it was from being kicked in the arm. It honestly looked like his arm broke. It was a freak accident, but sometimes it happens. The ref ended up popping his arm back in and Peter even asked if he could continue the fight. And of course, I immediately said no. Peter trained really hard for the fight and I really wish he could have had the chance to continue because I honestly believed he could have won. But it was a great experience and I'm super proud of both of the boys for even stepping in there. My emotions were up and down all night, happy and very sad moments. It's very stressful being the coach because you want your students to win so bad and to make sure they are safe. Peter was also extremely disappointed, but just like how I ended up with 13 stitches across my face and a loss from my first fight in Thailand, I tell this story all the time and now I'm super proud and happy I experienced it. Peter will also feel this way in a few months. This is the fight right now. This is more painful than the fight ever could have been. The best part about it all is you'll be training and making new friends from people from all around the world. This time we had people from France, Ireland, Bulgaria, Germany, Singapore, the United States, and Canada. From my personal experience, when you see these guys every day, and for most of the day, these people become lifelong friends. If you guys want to attend the next camp, just sign up in the link in the description box below.